Hey, I'm Rob and welcome to my lab. Um, if you've been following NVIDIA's AI roadmap, you've probably seen the buzz around something called the DGX Spark. It's a compact workstation class AI development system that looks like a miniature desktop, but it's built as a data center node. Well, I've just added one to my lab. I recently purchased this DGX Spark and I've been putting it through its paces. So take a look at that. Nice gold color, very pretty. I'm exploring how it fits into my AI engineering workflow, but exactly what is it and who's it for? And maybe more importantly, who's it not for? So in this video, I'm gonna unpack what the DGX Spark actually is, um, why NVIDIA built it, and how it bridges local development with enterprise scale AI deployment. So let's start with why the DGX Spark even exists. So as AI engineers, we typically face a split workflow. We experiment locally on consumer grade systems, and then we try to scale to cloud or on-prem DGX systems, and we hit some friction. So we've got different drivers, CUDA versions, frameworks, and even hardware architectures on our production systems than we do on our development systems. So the Spark was created to change that. It's designed as a developer first bridge to NVIDIA's enterprise GPU ecosystem, specifically the DGX GH200 and future Blackwell based systems. That means that the same CUDA stack, NVIDIA AI enterprise software, NIM microservices, and containerized workflows you'd run at scale, they're all available locally. So in short, this is a sandbox for serious AI engineering. That's not really a desktop inf inference box that you know you might want to have at, at home for experimentation. So let's talk hardware because yeah, this is this is hardware. This is a, this is a hardware device. So inside the DGX Spark, we're going to find a 20 core ARM CPU with 10 ARM Cortex X925 performance cores and 10 Cortex A725 efficiency cores. We'll also have 128 gig of unified memory. So that's shared between the CPU and the GPU. So we could get easily 100 gig available uh, to GPU jobs. Uh, the GPU is an NVIDIA GB10 GPU. It's basically a smaller version of the GPU architecture used in DGX data center accelerators, it has full tensor core support for training and fine tuning. Um, on the storage side, we have four terabytes of NVMe storage. Um, connectivity is, uh, uh, there's a 10 gig Ethernet RJ45 port. There's also a connectic supporting 200 gig connection to a second Spark, so you can daisy chain them together. And then we have uh, Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth for wireless connectivity. So while the Spark is an NVIDIA product, there's a decent list of other hardware partners building their own GB10 hardware with nearly identical specs, Dell, Lenovo, HP, among others. Um, some of them have less storage and have a lower price, um, but the ones that are equally configured have pretty much the same prices as NVIDIA's, um, NVIDIA's own hardware. So what's the real value for AI developers? Um, first, workflow parity. Um, so our Docker containers, NIM microservices, infer inference pipelines, you know, everything can be built and validated locally and then deployed directly to DGX in the cloud or on-prem. The second is really speed and privacy. So we can iterate quickly and safely with proprietary or regulated data without uploading anything to the public cloud. And the third is fine tuning and experimentation. So Spark lets us train and refine models, test new architectures, and even prototype multi-agent systems before committing to the expense of running them on data center resources. So now the Spark isn't for everyone. So if your main goal is low cost inference or hobby scale experimentation, you'll probably be better served by a Mac Studio, an RTX 5090, or some other PC based system configured with one or more gaming GPUs. And those are excellent systems for running existing models and small batch inference. In fact, my RTX 4090 system isn't going anywhere. I'll still be using it for some of my AI workloads, um, but with 24 gig of GPU RAM, I tend to hit the GPU RAM ceiling on the 4090, so it's not really suitable for everything I'd like to run on it. So the Spark is gonna fill into those use cases. So for me, the value of the DGX Spark is that it prioritizes memory, number one, and two, compatibility with data center system architectures. So here's how I'll be using my DGX Spark and maybe how you would too. So I'll be testing and evaluating open weight models like Llama 3, Mistral, or 5 for domain-specific tasks. Um, I really want to dive deeper into designing multi-model agent systems where LLMs, vision models, and embedding services coordinate through new microservices. Um, I have some ideas for fine-tuning small and medium uh, language models for targeted use cases, and then just using it as an internal lab node where I can experiment more freely without the need to justify cloud compute costs. So to wrap it up, um, NVIDIA really designed the DGX Spark as the missing link between personal workstation and the enterprise data center. Um, it's built for serious AI engineers who want to prototype locally, scale globally, and do it all using the same foundation DGX stack with, used in the data center. 
So whether the Spark is a good investment, it really depends on your use case and what types of AI projects you want to work on locally. I want to work with larger models that don't fit on my 4090 GPU, and I want to get deeper into the NVIDIA Enterprise tech stack, so the Spark is a great fit. So my experience with the Spark so far, so far, it's been positive. Um, I have a list of projects waiting in the queue, um, and I'll be sharing my experiences with the Spark uh, in upcoming videos. Um, I plan to dive into the enterprise configuration and customization, um, running and comparing open weight models, um, building some multi-model agents that I talked about with NIM, and fine tuning smaller models for specific applications. Um, if that sounds interesting, you know, hit subscribe, give the video a like and uh, follow along as we explore what it's like developing real world AI solutions on the DGX Spark. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.